Jim Son is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up talking about the bummer of the preseason injuries and their fallout from week number three. The big one and the most upsetting one was J.K. Dobbins tearing his ACL, ending his season prematurely, which is just a sad thing for all NFL fans. Gus Edwards now steps in to be the 1A for the Ravens' backfield, which moves him up to RB23 in my rankings for this year. The reason he's there is because he should get a lot of the early down work, and Gus is a good runner, so he's going to be efficient with the carries he does get. The reason Gus isn't higher for me is the lack of passing down work. In a half PPR scoring setting, a target, not a reception, a target is worth twice as much from a fantasy perspective as a carry. Gus probably won't get a lot of those targets, which means his upside is capped and puts him a bit lower on this list. I do still like Gus because he's going to be really good, but the lack of passing game work does mute his ceiling. Tyson Williams also a guy to target later on in drafts, hoping he carves out a role alongside Gus. Another injury from this weekend was T.Y. Hilton. Sounds like he'll miss a couple of weeks with a with a neck injury, which does boost up Michael Pittman a little bit. Pittman is a guy who is already pretty interesting because he looked decent last year, was moving into a bigger role, and may have a more aggressive quarterback in Carson Wentz. When Hilton came back from his injury last year, he had 20% of the team's targets, whereas Pittman had 15%. So taking Hilton out of the fold early does boost the target potential for Michael Pittman. Now it looks like Quentin Nelson and Carson Wentz should be healthy for week one, which means the early season outlook for Pittman is trending up. I've got him up to, up, up to wide receiver 44, a decent boost from where he was before, and someone who could out, outproduce that potential if he gets off to a hot start. The third injury to monitor from this past weekend was Irv Smith of the Vikings. He's going to have surgery on his meniscus. Now, this is a surgery that could go one of two ways. It could have Irv done for the season, or it could have him out for a couple of weeks. I am still willing to take Irv Smith late in drafts on the chance this is not a season-ending injury. Irv Smith now my tight end 15 because you aren't going to find a lot of tight ends super late in drafts who are likely to have as good of a role as Irv would have once he is able to come back, if he's able to come back. Irv Smith would likely be the number three pass catcher on this team. He has shown his talent when he's gotten chances in the past, and this offense should be able to move the football pretty efficiently through the air. So yeah, it is risky to take Irv Smith in drafts given the uncertainty around what kind of surgery this is on his knee. But given the potential that he has, given his role in this offense, if he does play, I do still think that Irv Smith is worth some late round dart throws. If it does want to be bigger, we can move on and find someone else on the wide. That is all that we have here for today's FanDuel Hurry Up. We'll be back once again, hopefully with a happier topic as we get closer to week number one of the 2021 NFL season.